Okay, so this is also something that I never really paid attention to, but now it's in the mainstream, and I will do my best to decipher the spaghetti of nonsense that has unfolded before me. Cody Connors is an ex-Twitch employee, and apparently um, his contract with Twitch has expired, and perhaps his NDA with Twitch has expired, and now um, he is on Twitter running his fucking mouth. Uh, he has answered the question that has plagued... Uh, the commentary community for many years now, a very popular streamer known as Dr. Disrespect was mysteriously banned from Twitch and no explanation was ever given by Twitch and no explanation was ever given by Dr. Disrespect. The question has always hung heavy in the air uh, for people who like Dr. Disrespect or know of him. Why was he banned? Well, Cody Connors from Twitch staff has uh, finally answered this question he says he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing twitch whispers product he was trying to meet up with her at twitchcon the powers that be could read it in plain text case closed gang the doctor disrespect according to cody connors was in direct communication with a i believe a 14 year old i don't know where that number comes to my head but i'm pretty sure it was a 14 year old um i think this was in 2017 uh, no, sorry, June 2020. It's not that far back. Um, so they they somehow knew of this, which makes me wonder if she reported it to Twitch staff or if Twitch just routinely reads private messages, either, I guess, between their largest content creators or um, everybody, or in the most favorable interpretations, they somehow figured out that this person was under 18 and there was some reason to be suspicious that she was being inappropriate and whispers. So they do like an audit of her messages to see who she was talking to. It's sort of like a proactive child safety thing. That's pro the most favorable interpretation that you could have of this. Outside of her just reporting it herself. Um, but if Cody Connors is to believe, then he is caught in 4K. Um, I was also led to believe, and I will now pay attention to my chat for the first time in this stream as chat is on my uh, shit list right now. I was led to believe that Dr. Disrespect had, at some point in time, cheated on his wife. Um, and this, I believe that they're, they either, like, broke up or they had some kind of marital issue um, where it came out that he was talking to girls behind her back around the same time. Um, is this accurate? Is my memory correct? Because this is only, like, a vague recollection that I have um, so I'm not entirely sure he spilled some event of his and wanted to drop more info if he sells the show out sus as fuck Dr. Disrespect the age of consent nobody reported it to the cops no we don't do that Mark Kern and anime lawyer say it can't be true because they paid Dr. D Zero proof. IRC, the message was 2017, and the ban was 2020. It's still gross. <laughs> so she's legal now. Doc should look her up. Okay. Interesting. So the messages were from 2017. So I, that's where I got that number from. That's where it happened. But then he was banned three years later. So there's no... But he admitted to it. I see. He cheated on his wife with a Twitch tranny. <laughs> Gross. All right. All right. I see. I have a fuller picture now. Um, I, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna make you watch this. Um, this stream. But from what this guy says, uh, Doctor D pulled out his phone and then said that he would have to stop streaming on Twitch. So I think he's checking his phone right now, and he's gonna say, I. I have to stop streaming. This could be, this should definitely have been cut down. I'm not going to sit here and watch 10 months of this. Uh, but he effectively, he announced a indefinite hiatus, uh, alleged probably because of the allegations. Um, he also co-founded a game development studio called Midnight Society, uh, which posted this saying, um, on Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of the co-founders, Guy, Guy BM, a.k.a. Dr. Disrespect, 
We assume his innocence and begin. This is a very weird message. Um, so I'm gonna try to read it and then go back over it because it is like fucking bizarre. Um, it says we assume his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy BM immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. So, this is a very clumsy statement, and it has all sorts of fault lines. Um, no, no sentence in this appears to flow fluidly into the next, if that makes sense. Uh, it feels like that they wrote a statement that was twice as long and it included more specific details about what they had uncovered and why they had come to the conclusion that they had. And then they simply went through and deleted those sentences out of the message and left it as it is um, so that it feels very janky and not logically consistent with itself. Uh, it's a very poor message, and I believe that my theory is probably accurate that this is like the fourth draft where they just went through and removed all sorts of shit from it and didn't um, edit it for uh, clarity or uh, cohesion. So it sounds like um, they heard about the accusations. They wanted to assume that he hadn't done anything because what a huge pain in the ass. They looked into it, and they did come to the conclusion that he had sexted a 14-year-old um, in 2017 or something, and therefore um, they let him go. Uh, and they say at the bottom, it's not because they really care. It's because they don't want to get caught up in it and have to deal with the consequences of having him on on roster. Uh, I, okay, I have received clarification that he cheated on his wife outright. And uh, his wife made him publicly apologize. I think I actually, I remember this. I think I talked about this on stream. And I kind of want to detour to check this out. Because I, I vaguely remember it. So his wife made him apologize. Hey, guys. Uh... <clears throat> what ethnicity is he? Because he looks brown and Mexican. Is this correct? <laughs> kind of have a, a little bit of... A little bit of an announcement. Um, whoopsie, whoopsie. We gotta fuck... We gotta and I just want to be lucky. completely transparent with you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid, and um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful, and <laughs> and uh, and I'm probably going to be taking some time away, time off, to focus on um, <laughs> stupid fucking mistakes, man. <sighs> I'm going to take time off to focus on my family, and, and so I just wanted to let you guys know that. And I apologize to you guys and Slick Daddy. You guys are. I apologize to you guys, my sponsors and Twitch. And this is not this is not who I am. It's it's not what I represent. And <clears throat> that's it. I want to point out something. He has a hat on. To cover his eyes, I assume, because he's looking down throughout most of the video. This hat has a patch on it. I want to read the patch out to you guys. Loyal to the lard. Loyal to the land. Homemade goods. <laughs> okay, I've just told on myself, I guess, because I thought I I misread that saying loyal to the lard. 
And I was like, is he implying that he's like a chubby chaser? That he got, he hooked up with a fat chick at TwitchCon? <laughs> is that why he's not loyal to his family, but he is loyal to the lard? <laughs> Sorry, I, that's how this is just how I read it, okay? <laughs> uh he wrote a response. This is a very long post. I've not read it before, so let's go through it together, chat. The Twitch band. Hello. I'd like to make a quick statement. Um the Kiwi Farms fact check rates this pants on fire. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. I rate that pants on fire. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on everything, on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. Okay, so we've set the stage. This is a post that has no bullshit. This cuts to the fucking quick. And we're going to see some true accountability and accepting of responsibility. And I've not read this before. I'm just setting the stage of what, what we should be looking for based on this first statement. Um, the same, this paragraph is entirely filler, um, but it's filler which says that it's going to cut out any filler. Um, so I find that very amusing uh, immediately. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people who have high career ambitions and fami families, and I would never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed my the accusations, I can tell you now my side of the story regarding the ban. Um, so he admits that the accusation is real. He does not admit that what happened or what, what he's been accused of actually happened. He just said the accusation is accurate. Um, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual in seven, 2017? Yes. The answer is yes. Were the real intentions behind these messages... The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations, and that's something that leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Um, so that's like, a, like, th were there real intentions behind these messages? Um, that is a really bad statement to write, because you're basically admitting that, yes, the messages are real, yes, they're sexually charged, Yes, they're inappropriate, and yes, they're with a minor. However, fingers are crossed behind my back. Just kidding, bro. It's just a prank. Uh, really, really, like, not convincing logic there. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it is not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. So, so I saw some people in chat saying that because Dr. Disrespect had a um, termination payout, that there's no way that he did anything wrong, because if they had actual proof that he did anything wrong, they wouldn't have had to pay him a dime, uh, because he would have been the one who violated their contract. Um, as you know, what is technically right and what is reality when it comes to the law and what is the most expedient solution to a problem regarding the law is not often the same thing. And from the sound of it, what happened is is that uh, Twitch banned him. Dr. Disrespect said, hey, wait a second, I didn't violate your contract. Twitch says, uh, well, we think you did. And uh, Dr. District 6 says, prove it. And I bet you, I bet you smarty pants in the chat that said, oh, well, he got paid, so therefore it's all bullshit. I bet you that what they didn't want to do is go to court, have this go to discovery, and then have to admit that they do actively monitor and read all private messages on the Twitch platform. 
Um, I bet you that some fucking bean counter up on Twitch says, well, we already don't make money. People already hate our platform. They hate us. And admitting that we read every message uh, and we use – we not only do we read all these messages, but we use information against our creators uh, by reading their messages. Uh, that would be bad for the business. So they just paid him his severance and told him to get the fuck out, and they signed an NDA or something. And I bet you that that is what actually happened. It's, um, and not, not anything fancy. Uh, it was just a business decision. Because nobody, nobody, uh, knew that Twitch was reading private messages until this came out. Um... Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should never have happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all that said, don't get it, don't get it twisted. Gamble, idiots. Gambling uh, <laughs> is an investment. You will win. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. There's, that's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I think I've said what I needed to say in regard to the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community in Circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media, or sorry, live and breath social media with no zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. I think that means us, chat. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm the piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not the same guy that made the mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Oh, big man. If I use the word fucking a couple more times in my serious social media statement, um, it will make me look cool. Um, so that post was four hours ago. Someone said to check his Twitter for more tweets, but that was it. That's like his most recent message. Oh. It's been edited like a thousand times. Can I like view the edit history? Oh, I cannot. Last edited. Oh, can I do it this way? One, two, three. Okay, let's look at his most, his most recent. Okay, so it has been edited twice. Um, do same message. I'm just reading through this to see where it's different. That's the same. That's the same. Um. He edited this to explicitly state that, yes, he talked to an individual minor in 2017. He keeps the real intentions line. He says that they were casual and mutual, so she was a little slut, is what he's saying. I'm going to keep it fucking real with you all. Yes, I talked to that underage girl through the plain text, unencrypted Twitch messaging system in 2017. But bros, she was a fucking hoe. She was trying. She was trying to seduce me. I was defenseless. That's that's his defense so far. Okay. Um. He maintains this line of uh, statements, which are all very, very 
negative PR. Um, kept that the same. Kept that the same. Is the don't get it twisted line the same? It's all very, very similar. It's just that one paragraph. He added a couple more paragraph breaks and he took out a couple of the fuckings, I think. Um, and he might have spelled a couple words better. <laughs> but this is mostly unedited. I was hoping for a bit more of a like a complete fucking change in uh, the Twitter message, but it's basically the same. He's getting dunked on by Tipster. By the way, uh, Dax Herrera, a.k.a. Juju the Cow, is very anti- Dr. Disrespect, um, which I don't understand. Like, Vito is a pedophile that has openly talked about wanting to molest kids, like, repeatedly over months. As a as a 32-year-old man, to be clear, and I think even older, I think he was, like, 34, when he randomly went out on social media and just randomly started talking about wanting to fuck kids. Um... And he's also retweeting Max Carson, an open pedophile, who made a video review about how sexy he found the children in Cuties. Um, but then Dick is all... I'm oh, sorry, Dax. Let's be, let's be accurate here. Dax is also like, yeah, this guy's a pedophile. <laughs> this guy's an open predator. It's like, um, I wonder if he's just trying to find like a new person to try and pick a fight with. Because I guess that Dr. Disrespect guy is a big audience. He's trying to find it. The Eric July shit isn't working out, and he just looks like a faggot. So he's like, well, maybe I can pick a fight with Dr. Disrespect. Because I think he's realized that, like, bashing pe pedophiles and, like, predators and shit is good engagement. Like, it's a morally righteous position. Um, it's hard for people to disagree with you. It's good content. Uh, it's, uh, it's like, if you, if you want to pick on predators and, like, abuse predators... Um, you're basically given a ticket to be a complete psychopath with impunity. Like nobody, if you're fucking with like an actual child predator, nobody cares what you do. You can kill them even. And most, most people will turn a blind eye to you if they, if they're like, if there's like a meeting of the minds and they understand that you're killing a pedophile. I think most people would just like, ah, oh, I didn't see anything. I think it was like a seven foot tall black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was in all red or something, and he had, like, those Yeezys on. Um, it might have been a mugging. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, I think maybe Dax has figured out that the, the money is in uh, verbally abusing pedophiles. So he's like, okay, I'm going to make fun of this Dr. Disrespect guy and try to pick on a, a fight with him. Uh, Tipster, on the other hand, who has defended Keffels and Vouch with the... Uh, Keffels, of course, who is sexually aroused by pink pilling minors and farting, um, and Vouch, who had the the short girl folder that everybody saw. Uh, Tipster comes out and then uh, condemns Doctor Disrespect. So I guess Tipster, the Tipster Dax Alliance is coming, bro. You gotta get Dax, get Tipster on the show, man. Uh, you, you're have you're struggling for guests. The tip, just the tip, will give you that boost that you need. Uh, Tipster says. The Doc's own development studio has kicked him to the curb after an internal investigation citing facts that are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept. And y'all are still out there like, we gotta wait for proof, though. Uh, even he sees the writing on the walls. Yikes. Um, and this is him uh, canceling the stream that we just watched. Uh, his getup is like the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen ever, by the way. This dude might as well have guilty tattooed on his forehead at this point. Okay, let's do a poll. I'm curious. I think some people in my chat were giving me shit for, for hashtag believing all Twitch staff employees, but poll. Did Dr. Disrespect disrespect the age of consent? Question mark. Yes, he, he fucking texted that fucking minor individual. Or no, vote two for no, he fucking didn't do nothing, man. All right, here comes the poll. Vote one for yes, he fucking texted that fucking minor individual. Vote two, or th oh, I did the thing again where I included an apostrophe and I broke the poll. Vote two or vote three for no, he fucking didn't do nothing, mang. This is a scientific poll. The results of this are conclusive and can and will be used against him in a court of law. Oh, some, okay, wait, hold up. 
while while we do that, let me go back and look at the Twitter history. Um, someone pointed this out, and I, I get it now. So I don't want to be incomplete here. So this is version one. Oh, not even. So I have version two. So there's three three versions of this that are mostly the same. Okay, I got you. So this is I see. Okay, so this is what happened. The post is mostly the same, but in the first version he says individual minor back in 2017. The version that I read has it, individu has it edited to individual, and then he edits back in minor in his third and final edit. So the difference between, he removes it and then adds it back in, the word minor. Um, I guess because he didn't realize that the edit history would be public and that people would notice that he took out the word minor specifically and nothing else. So that... Uh, <laughs> That's why I was confused because I looked at the the post and said, "Why did he explicitly uh, say that it's a minor in his revision?" That's something that you'd want to take out. Now I understand because uh, the version I was looking at was the middle one between where he what he tried to get away with, and when he got caught doing. Um. So I did a poll, and I asked people to vote, and the results are not showing at all. <laughs> Vote one. Does it just is it not working? Is the poll just like so far behind that like nobody can see it? What is happening? Oh, okay. It's just a very long delay. I understand now. Sorry, I will, I didn't. It's like a like a proper like ten minute delay though. I'll let the poll run a little bit more and keep talking. We'll go back to it. Actually, no, vote, get your vote in now because the topic changes. Uh, that's it. I don't know anything about the Dr. Disrespect guy, but I, I find um, it's kind of weird because it's like he did this in 2017, and it's like only now he's catching shit for it um, because Twitch would – that's that's the narrative I think people should run with, that Twitch covered it up because they didn't want to admit in court that they secretly read all Twitch DMs. <laughs> okay, the poll is pretty conclusive already. Um, out of 100 participants, 90 of them said, yes, he fucking texted that fucking minor individual. And uh, a mere 12 voted, no, he fucking didn't do nothing, man. Okay, cool. I think that... Uh-oh. The message is not... The votes are not being counted, I see. Oh, there's just like an extreme delay. I got you. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Sorry. Today's a jank stream. I, I don't feel very good. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!